Will Myers is somebody that I think can kill your fantasy team this year. And that's not to say I don't like him. What I love about Myers is his age. I love the positional change. I love the breakout he showed last year. What I hate is that I don't trust any of it. He has <laughs> never, never, I can't emphasize the word never enough. He has never stolen bases at any point in his career, even in the minors. And out of nowhere, he swipes 28 last season. It just makes zero sense to me. So I don't know what to make of that. Uh, he's shown the power potential. He's even shown a high average before, only to disappear, like vanish, uh, and take like a little, you know, two year hiatus in between last year and his rookie season. The reason I say all of this is because he's currently being drafted as the number seven first baseman going in the fifth round. That means you are absolutely convinced, sold, and 100% trust him that what you saw last year is what Will Myers really is. Now, again, like I said, it's not to say I don't like him. I like Will Myers a lot. I'm personally a fan. I think you'll find a lot of people saying that. I just don't trust him. So you tell me. Should I be trusting him? He makes me a little nervous too. And uh, But when you're coming up a 28-28 season, I mean, think about it. Potentially, if not if he repeats, let's say he slides back a little bit and it's a 25-20 season, which is totally possible and not far off from what uh, Steamer's projections are over for him. So they're usually relatively conservative. Here's the thing. He stole 28 bases in 34 attempts. So he was efficient. It wasn't like he had to, you know, this wasn't the Allen Iverson of stealing bases. I mean, that's that's relatively efficient, and it came out it of nowhere. Great. It was great. But, and the funny thing is I think it's the opposite of um, sort of what we talked about with, with Simeon is his team likes to run and they're on a bad team and he's got like guys like Solarte behind him and that's his protection. Those guys aren't really going to move him along all that much. Even if they're decent players, they're not great. Um, you know, maybe he'll have Renfro behind him this year and Mark Owen ahead of him. So his lineup's going to get a little bit better. So maybe some of those counting stats do get a little bit better, but I mean, he could still steal 17 to 20 bases. I mean, he has enough speed. He's shown the ability to, to, to steal bases. Now, I don't think he's going to drop down to five or six. I don't think he's, um, you know, going to be like a Machado, um, you know, a Rizzo where they're athletic and the situation just sort of bore, you know, bear itself out. Um, I think that he is going to steal. I think he's still going to get opportunities to go. It's probably going to be more like Todd Frazier was in a couple of those teams where he stole 15 or 16 bases for a few years. And then his role changed. I don't know if Myers role is going to change all that much. Um, a lot of the other stuff I saw, I saw a player that really took a step forward in terms of the type of hitter he was. He had a large increase in line drive rate. He went from a 16.9% line drive rate in 2015 to a 21.4% uh, line drive rate in 2016, which is just, that's a tremendous jump. That's a very good um, trend. Another good trend is he started pulling the ball more, going from an 18.2% pull rate to 23.9% of the time. Uh, so once again, going the other way. When you start to do that, they can't shift me as much, and um, your, you know, ultimately your baby is going to go up a little bit. Uh, swing and strike rate went down from 9.8 percent to 8 uh, percent. Stop swinging as many pitches in and out out of the zone, but he actually made more contact with the pitches in and out of the zone uh, that he did swing at, and started hitting off speed pitches better. Some of his be his his highest pitch grades were against uh, sliders and curves. Um, so I think he legitimately made a step forward as a hitter. Um, do I think he'll hit 28 home runs again? It was inflated by an 18 percent um, home run to fly ball ratio, so that's a little bit out of whack. But you know, maybe if it slides down, normalizes a little bit, uh, regresses to like 13 percent, I mean, he could still hit 20 homers, um, and the lineup's going to be better. So maybe the counting stats are better. I like sliders, but I price is high though. Very high. Sliders and curves is a great name for a bar. So if anybody wants to open a bar. <laughs> name it Sliders and Curves. Send some royalties this way. And if you have nice. a bar that's already named Sliders and Curves. Send me a T-shirt. Send me a T-shirt. <laughs> uh, yeah, listen, I, you know, I think a lot was made of the fact that he was back at home in San Diego. Maybe that was, you know, some of the cause for this resurgence of, you know, what was once a highly regarded prospect. The only problem I have with that is he was there in 2015 as well, and we didn't see any of this. So this is really just a one-time showing. I think his career numbers, I think one year he had 12 stolen bases, one year he had 10. 
those mm. two to combined don't even total what he did last season. So I'm not buying the speed. As you mentioned, the lineup's going to change. Uh, he was efficient, but, you know, again, I, I just it's, it, to me, it, the price tag is just enormous. Somebody's going to draft him, and if this really is Will Myers, you know, and that guy gets lucky with the pick, that guy we drafted him is going to look like a genius, and everybody in the league is going to hate him. But if he doesn't pan out, you know, it, it could sink that guy's team drastically. Under over 15 steals for Myers. Under. I'll take the over on it. Okay. Internet bet. I, okay. I think I think the 20 homers, I definitely would say over. But steals, yeah. I'm going I'm going under. Um, okay, under 15 steals. A dozen would impress me from Will Myers. I think he'll have a dozen. Okay. Well, that's under. <laughs> so. Uh, let's move on to another. Well, if he gets to 17, he's still going to have a dozen. 